If you ever wanted to drive a car in a simulator that requires you to sellotape your trousers on before you drive it, the Formula Corsa 2 2014 Season 1.1 modification is what you're looking for. Those of you with sniper sharp vision might have noticed that it looks a little bit like a GP2 car. Of course, despite looking pretty much near identical to a GP2 car, and through some strange coincidence having near identical specs to a GP2 car, of course it isn't. Because if it were, Bernie Eccleston would be banging doors down like an escaped dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Okay, jumping in, I've already got the DK2 on my face, and I'm in the cockpit of a GP2 car, and uh, this feels... I feel really surrounded by the car and the seating position seems spot on with me even being able to look down at my body. Oh, we're missing the start there. Getting distracted looking at my uh, my groin there. Absolutely fantastic sense of being in the car. I think the uh, some of the Formula cars in, in a set of course, the default camera setting or camera position... <laughs> Didn't mean to squeal like a girl there, but I kind of missed a breaking point. The uh, camera posi default camera position is a little bit high, whereas this, I just feel spot on. And it's, it's the sort of reclined former position, which is a little bit weird, considering that I'm sat in an office chair, sort of car seat, modded office chair. Um, and then I'm using a wheel stand pro, so my legs aren't matched up to the, to, to the game perfectly. But even so, my mind's kind of making up for that and I really feel like I'm reclined to some extent. I imagine if you've got a sim rig where you are actually reclined in your chair properly with your feet up in the air, this will absolutely blow your mind. Doesn't go wheel to wheel, Jesus. Oh. This car, the brake is ridiculously sensitive. I'm using the G25 pedals and uh, I really need uh, something that's not potentiometer based, something that's load cell based, especially when you start getting to former cars like this, so you can actually put a bit of weight and benefit from granularity on the brakes. G25 pedals make these kind of cars quite tricky to drive and very easy to accidentally lock your wheels up. As for the the handling, um, absolutely incredible. I mean these it, it, it it's got this speed, the bite the downforce, everything that you'd expect from a GP2 car, but also the controllability. When you put a bit more throttle on than you should, you can power out of the corners and you can feel what the car's doing as my fist blocks my view. And it's really intuitive. It just feels intuitive to kind of steer the car out of the corners and natural. And I think when you get Formula cars in a lot of simulators or older simulators, it could often be the case that they would drive under the limit very convincingly or, you know, I've never driven a real former car, but they seem to drive convincingly. You know, the brake points seem right, how you generally take corners seem right. But as soon as you went over the limit, they would often be lost. Whereas in a set of Corsa, and especially with this mod, there's, there's so much ply and given granularity to, to the actual area on the limit. <laughs> it's, just, it's just fantastic. The sounds um, seem great as well. I mean, I think it could be, I might fiddle with the volume. You could think you could turn the engine volume up a little bit louder than it is relative to the other sound effects in the game. And that might, oh AI, banging wheels with me. And that might increase immersion a little bit, turn your headphones up as well. But you know, it's not bad sound. It's not distracting me from the car. I could take that flat out. Why am I coming off the throttle? What a noob. <laughs> Traffic jam behind me. You're not coming through. But the sound seems fine. You can hear the car uh, tire skid sound as well. Normally I turn that up. I just reset everything recently with this set Corsa. Normally I turn the tire skid sound up because you use that as a bit of force feedback as an audible cue as to how much grip you've got and how close you are to the limit. But saying that, the force feedback is normally so good in a set of Corsa that you can generally feel the limit out without using the sound. Oops. The car model. <laughs> it speaks for itself. I'm not sure how well it comes through on the video, but I mean, absolutely bloody fantastic 3D modelling work. Again, <laughs> I don't know where all these mod teams have come from, these people with incredible 3D modelling skills. And I've got um, at least, I think I put 15 cars on this running uh, with AI. 
Oh, that's too much. Too much liberty with that. I've got at least 15 cars running and um, there's no frame rate hit at all. So they've done a really good job of optimizing the external models of the other vehicles while still having everything look fantastic. And the internal model of the car, I mean, just just gorgeous, really. I mean, it's not quite as sexy as the Mazda, but that's just the car. That's just that car shape. I mean, a prototype cars to me look, uh, you know, they're the sexiest cars you can get. But as, for, as far as GP2 cars go, I mean, just look at it. Spot on. All the details seem there. Just, just amazing. The steering wheel. Um, with the DK2, you can you can see the rev lights. And because it's 3D, you can kind of focus past the wheel. So even when this fist is in my face here, I can sort of see, look past it if I want to. Um, I can't read the speedo that clearly. Uh, where's his speed? There, <laughs> unless I move my head in. But I can clearly see the rev lights and the current gear that's on the screen and the current LED display of the rev, the sort of rev bar. So you get the basic functionality. Which you'd think it might not be too small to read, but it's actually not too bad. It's just, just incredible. Oh God, I'm saying that word too many times. Uh, unbelievable, incredible, and mind blown. I need to sort of, I need to ban myself from saying those words. I'm getting overused. It's a biothesaurus, the VR video thesaurus. But. Um, Clearly, I'm driving miles off the pace here, but it's, this is begging me to want to put more time into it. You know when you jump into a, a sim car that's just... It just wants you to put more time into it. it there's something just addictive about the fundamental handling of the vehicle. And you'll do, you know, you'll, you'll improve your lap time and that's rewarding. But then you'll do a slower lap, but you'll be like, oh, I don't care because it was just <laughs> enjoyable. Absolutely, can't say the words. Um, need, need need new words. Someone write a comment with a new word to describe amazingness. But I'm going to stop here because otherwise this video will go on forever. But fantastic job, <laughs> absolutely fantastic job by the by the mod team. I've put the credits underneath the video and a download link in the video description so that you can drive this for yourself. I highly recommend it. Especially if you've got a DK2. I mean, if you play driving simulators, um, you, you should really try them with a DK2. Maybe wait for the end of 2015 for the actual consumer rift, which will probably be better. But amazing. So, <laughs> thanks for watching this. That is the GP2 car in a set of Corsa. Goodbye.